week nine, emancipation. Last week we looked at what I called stages of emancipation, that process by which the information was disseminated and the decisions that many slaves faced when deciding whether or not to risk escape, to make it to the north, to freedom. This week we are looking at this period known as emancipation, this aftermath of those immediate stages when the war is complete and the option of, of leaving plantations behind was there. Um, emancipation. What happened? What did these slaves do? What decisions did they make? What were the challenges that they faced? Uh, trying to determine whether to stay, to stay amongst friends, perhaps families, to venture off, to head to the cities, to head to the north. You know, where did the slave, the freed slaves go? And what decisions helped them determine where they would go? Well, first, many slaves would go to the cities. Uh, New Orleans, Memphis were two examples of large cities that saw a massive influx of, of African American uh, growth in the immediate aftermath of the Civil War. These are freed slaves who, with the promise of jobs, income, of family, of cheap housing, who are flocking to these big southern cities with hopes of living, I don't know, the American dream, they arrive there and immediately feel unwanted. They belong. The 13th Amendment certainly says that all slavery uh, is, um, is against the law. Um, but there are still questions about so, so African Americans cannot be um, slaves, but does that make them American citizens? Does that give them the right to vote? Does it allow them a chance to have representation? Right. Those questions are not immediately answered. That is why, in this era which we often refer to as Reconstruction, one of the reasons why Reconstruction is such a challenging process because although slavery is banished, it does not change the way that white Americans thought about race and their African American neighbors. We will see after the Civil War, as these freed slaves flock to the cities, immediately arise in terrorist organizations. The formation of the KKK, uh, was in 1965 or 1966, right in the immediate aftermath of these groups flocking into the cities. Um, we see in Memphis, Tennessee, um, one of the very first riots in 1966, uh, in which uh, white Americans attack these freed slaves, um, killing, raping, pillaging, destroying the homes, uh, of these people. We see similar riots in, um, in New Orleans. And so clearly the tension is, um, the tension that exists between these two groups, even though the war is over and everything seems to be settled out, not everything is settled. There are still fundamental differences between these two groups of people, um, many of whom still operate under the mentality of master and slave, or master and subservient. Um, and those issues are not easily ironed out through a simple political ruling. So this week we will be looking at emancipation and the challenges that faced African Americans in the aftermath of the emancipation. We will read more about the Memphis Riot of, of 1866. Uh, we look at the impact upon slave, uh, upon Indians, uh, and talk more about how that process of leaving home. Uh, took place um, in out of the house of bondage. All right, that's it for this week. Class, if you have any questions, send me an email.